Good morning, students and staff. Today is Monday, January 25th, 2021. It's a day two. Please stand and listen to our national anthem and a moment of silent reflection. Please be seated. We would like to start by acknowledging that we're on the traditional territories of the Wendat, the Haudenosaunee, and the Anishinaabe peoples, whose presence here continues to this day. We would also like to acknowledge that this is the treaty lands of the First Nations of the William Treaty, and thank them and other Indigenous peoples for sharing this land with us. We would also like to acknowledge the Chippewas of Georgina Island First Nation as our closest Indigenous community and our partners in education. So as you'll remember, before the holidays and since we've come back virtually in the new year, we've shared with all of you reflections from 8A. This learning and their reflections about what it means to be treaty peoples and what calls to action number 62 and 63 are on the glass, are on the glass outside room 201. And they've shared their reflections with us and we're gonna continue to share them today so that you can reflect with your classmates about the significance of the land acknowledgement. And this um, announcement for this week from 8A is very specific to the calls to action number 62 and 63. So why are they important? Calls to action 62 and 63 tell, tells and encourages students to take actions towards reconciliation and to develop and mend trust with indigenous communities. It makes sure that students learn about Indigenous histories, residential schools, and treaties. We should learn and acknowledge positive contributions in these histories and in the present day. In Call to Action number 62, it provides funding to Indigenous schools um, and it will tell educators how to put this learning in classroom activities. Students will get a better understanding of reconciliation and how important it is to Canada. And it will take us one step closer to reconciliation. As, Stone, as Stonebridge students, we will be the future leaders. Calls to action number 62 and 63 help us learn about Indigenous history, and we will be able to teach others about it in the future. And this is why we read the land acknowledgement every day and are doing this work in class. So starting today, we'll be starting 30 days of mindfulness activities in our classroom. So we've been doing this on a weekly basis, but uh, we'd like to challenge you with mindful activities for every day uh, of, the, of the week for the next 30 days. So this great resource was shared with us by Ms. Smith. And so each day through the morning announcements, we're going to share a strategy with you and uh, your students, and we hope that you'll be able to implement this and that it will help you every single day. So this week's Mindful Minute, um, actually today's Mindful Minute, is called Finding Calm. So our bodies are constantly responding to our surroundings, even if we're not conscious of it. And when we get um, or feel like we want to run away from, from something, 
And so, you know, if we feel safe and connected, we're able to open up and settle into our own experiences. So it's okay to relax. And we actually sometimes have to intentionally do that. So we're going to start our uh, 30 days of mindfulness in the classroom with this exercise as a way of acknowledging the conditions, the things that we need to safely explore um, being thoughtful, relaxation, and meditation. So I'm going to read the script to you and, and your teachers will also share it with you in class as well. Let's begin by standing up or finding a comfortable seat. Both options are good choose what works best for you right now. Notice where in your body you are connected to something else. Feel your feet on the ground or your back against the chair. Allow yourself to rest into that connection as much as feels good at this moment. When you're ready, start to slowly look around the room. Stay in one place but feel free to move as much of your body as you need to explore your surroundings. Turn your head, shoulders, and torso. Look from side to side and up and down. Take your time and keep moving slowly. What do you see? What colors, shapes, and textures? Notice what you like and don't like. Now bring your attention to an object in the room that you like and helps you to feel calm. Take a deep breath and hang out there for a bit, softly gazing at the object you choose. Take a moment to notice how being with that object makes you feel. Maybe you feel okay, happy, good, peaceful, or relaxed. There's no right way to feel. And your feelings might change, but for now, notice how that object makes you feel. When we take the time to look around the room, we can often find something or someone that helps us feel good. This can be a helpful strategy when you notice it's hard for you to relax or when you're feeling stressed. So the next time you want to experience these pleasant feelings, try coming back to this object again. You may also try this in other rooms that you're in. And then when you're ready, come back to your starting position. Take a moment to thank yourself for trying this activity. And so your teachers are gonna be sharing this with you this uh, today, um, either through this announcement or they'll share it with you in class. And they have some reflective questions for you to consider. So we wish you a great Monday. We wish you a great week. Continue to contribute to the discussions, the chats, the conversations in your online learning. Remember to be thankful to give gratitude, and to take moments for yourself to be reflective. Have a great week, Stonebridge.